I started playing Skyblock four years too late, and it still surprises me how much it has changed. The progression of Skyblock has completely changed. The grappling hook and spider boots might have been the late game back in the day, but now they are barely considered early game. You'll get laughed at if you talk about getting spider boots. In Techno's videos, this was considered really hard to do, and really you had to be fast to do it. And now, you just don't. If you finish in under three minutes, I'll reward you for it. Wow, three minutes? I hope I can do that. I'm lo I'm literally moving faster than the chunks can load. Thirteen seconds! <laughs> Thirteen- I think I did in under three minutes, Goober. <laughs> Not bad! Oh, I did 12 seconds! I'm just too good! That was super challenging. Thank you, Goober. I can't believe that that's what it took to get a rare talisman back then, bro. Do you understand how expensive talismans are now? Since the last time we talked about these guys, I've done a little, I would say mining off camera, but it's not exactly mining, it's just combat. It's not really my... You see what I mean? Progression! Okay, back to my point. Basically, I just spent a little bit of time getting money. They don't give an insane amount of money, so, you know, I wouldn't... I wouldn't go overboard on killing them. I just... I, I only killed 50,000. Basically, I've come up with strategies that involve now money and then money, we'll call it. My then money, which are mainly just investments, have been a lot towards derpy in the early game. But my now money is these guys, because I would get, like, one or two, maybe even three mil an hour. Okay, so a spawn just happened. Basically, with these spawns, there's three in each room, a total of six that spawn in on each spawn timer. They all spawn at the exact same time, and I'm going to show you in this room. That's how long it takes for them to respawn. The NPC cell value of a star fall is like 200 coins. It's not good. But on a regular profile, they sell for over 1,500. The average that each one of them drops per is two. So that's 3,000 per kill, basically. So all around, if you can do it efficiently, that's a lot of money. Now, why am I bringing up a money-making method? The thing is, somehow, that is early game progression. At the start of Skyblock, you just go into the mines to get diamonds. Like, normal Minecraft stuff, basically. But now it's like, Okay, gotta run over here as fast as I can, start slapping a bunch of winning all- Early game money is basically just mining and farming. Farming is very good, consistent money. Mining is like, oh, very late game. You have to get, put in a lot of money, but you get a lot out of it. Basically, early game is just getting through this stages that I'm going through as fast as possible. Not to get the diamonds, <laughs> but to do something else. Basically, you need three enchanted sets of ten. So ten enchanted gold, or ten enchanted lapis, or ten enchanted red. So you need three of these. Then you come and talk to this guy. If you give him three sets of ten enchanted of specific things, he'll go and allow you to go to the dwarven mines. And then you basically just get aspect of the end, immediately go over here. You use the money that you got from wheat or whatever money-making method that is early game. And you farm enough to get one million coins to get the Aurora Staff. They can one-shot the treasure horrors and all of a sudden within the first hour. As long as you get Combat 15, have some Dragon Armor, which is very early game now somehow. You can literally just come in here and immediately start killing these guys. Within the first half hour, you're already in the mid-game mining area. And basically, combat level 15 is the hardest thing that is achievable because all of the dragon armor, less than a mil per piece for wise dragon, like, it's it's all so cheap that it's, it's literally early game armor. I mean, very few of us loser, I mean players, would actually go out of their way to farm so many of a early to mid game farming method, right? Like, 50,000 treasure hoarders puts me at the top 213 players. In treasure hoarded kills in all of Skyblock. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? This guy's level 27. He, he basically just got to level 15 combat so he could put on the armor, spent a mil on the Aurora staff, and then farms treasure hoarders for money. It's literally like, I've heard that that's one of the main strategies for early game on, on new profiles, and I'm just like, I guess I really did plan this well whenever I decided to do specific things early game. The thing is, is that treasures are really a nice way of earning money early game. The annoying part of it is, uh, for for mining, I'm kind of like, I, I farm sand enough to get to 28, and I've gotten an all right amount of stuff, but like, actual mining stuff, I just, I just, I have not gotten into that. 
that might come later on, like way later on. I just, I just, it's kind of in the same category as fishing where it's like, I don't really care that much. The thing is, is that <laughs> the worst part about farming treasure orders is that it's great for money, but it's in a mining island and it's the main like mining island unless you go to Crystal Hollows or the new like Glacial Tunnels update. So like the thing is, this is the main place, at least until late game, that people mine. So I don't know anything about mining. What are good mining pets right now? Your mom. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm logging out. I'm, I'm Listen, man, I don't want to hear what all these miners have to say. If I start ta conversating with too many miners, I might end up like every other Minecraft YouTuber. I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm going to go back to my farming later. The thing is, I don't know how to move this thing over, so it's annoying me because I can't move this thing over. So it doesn't show what? up in the videos, right? You can't move what over? The, 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 the thing here. It doesn't, like, it doesn't, I don't know how people get it to move over here. All right, now right ship. Oh my I'm god! Not... I'm done! Yeah, I get rid of the I'm freaking done, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Screw it, that's going in the video. Screw it. <laughs> you could, you could get rid of the border, too. What if I like the border, Matt? It looks stupid. So is your face. High numbers. Click that, please. Your God. Can I add extra numbers? Okay. It will look nice. Oh, you, you have to. I hate you. <laughs> Tur oh my God. I'm going to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Border color. There we go. Oh, then we got it. Yeah. There we go. Uh, <laughs> then we'll, a little bit of bluish. Bluish. Yeah. There we go. That is the worst thing I've ever seen. Yep, okay, well, I'm keeping this now. You're leaving it there. <laughs> well, uh, this is how I record I videos now, ladies and that. gentlemen. Uh, actually, you know what? You know what's even better? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I record videos, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, numbers are on. Yes, numbers are on. <laughs> cool, and it's, it's also off-center, so it's going to annoy everyone. All right, um, welcome back to another episode of Skywalk. Like, whenever Skyblock released, there was very simple islands. And that was just very complex stuff. But nothing changed Skyblock early game as much as the Bazaar. Oh, you want to buy basically anything in the game? Well, good for you. And don't think that me saying all this in the video is a bad thing. All these people with, like, late game farming, late game r dungeons, late game mining... Like, all of these late-game armors are a really nice thing. Like, the actual, like, quality of life, like, other late-game dungeons, like, all of these different armors are very much helpful. It's just, it's wild to see how much it has changed. But I'm not saying it's a bad thing, because, I mean, basic Skyblock, you go in and you just, you just punch a bunch of wheat. And now... You start off and you're like, oh, hey, day one on Skyblock, let's go. Okay, so I can walk over here, talk to this random rabbit NPC, and collect millions of chocolate. And get a bunch of duplicates. Oh, hey, a new common. Wow. Don't even get me started on him. You know, now that I've thought about it, I kind of talked way too much about mining in this video because that's where treasure hoarders are. So I'm like, ew, mining? I'm t <laughs> I gotta go back to preparing for my farming videos, man. And with this talk about progression, the main thing is, is that people that actually play the game consistently, you can tell that it averages out to the people that actually play the game but, like, don't super sweat it. The average is about level 100 unless there's just people that are newer or don't play as much. So I'm about average now. Yay. Anyway, oh, breakfast egg. Anyway, the only progression I care about is finding different eggs and hoppity. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you later. Oh, yeah, a common duplicate. Make sure to slam that like button with a snow shovel and have a good one. Oh, I, there's just miners talking. Not like that. Wait, wait, not like that. <laughs>